What is up, people? Loco here, and this is a Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, a team deathmatch on Favela. But uh, this is not what I'm here to talk about. But before <laughs> I will move into my actual topic, I will just mention that this is from the Xbox because I recently went out and got this on the Xbox because I thought it would be a quite entertaining investment since I enjoy playing a lot on the Xbox because most of the people who I like to play with is currently present there. Um, but that is not what I'm here to talk about so let me move into what is on my mind. So um, you, as you probably know um, E3 is going on right now a lot of new games has been shown and um, I actually would like to know which games you guys are looking forward to of course there are the obvious as Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 3 and Gears of War 3 whatever all those new games Uncharted 3 there are so many uh, of those uh, sequel games coming out right now but that's that's fine but um Actually, one of the games I'm looking most forward to is probably gonna be uh, Rage, the the new game by uh, Bethesda. Um, since they made Fallout, f uh, the Fallout series, and that's one of my favorite uh, favorite games series of all time. And uh, them making a new one, it's uh, it's pretty cool. And uh, overall, it just looks like a like a pretty cool game. Um, so. Um, I'm really looking forward to that and yeah let me know if you guys is something you guys want to play um, I'm not sure if there will be any sort of multiplayer I doubt it but uh, in my opinion that doesn't really matter because I don't play uh, Fallout or these kind of games for multiplayer I would like a co-op in them as I have mentioned before but uh, that's not always you can get such things but what ifs um, then of course there is um, Assassin's Creed Revelations. It's um, also a series I have been uh, quite enjoying through the times. It gets a bit repetitive, but um, in my opinion, at least. But uh, overall, it, uh, it's just a good, good fun experience. And um, what more? What more? Yeah, then <laughs> I will just mention the Gears of War Three. I played the beta a bit and uh, had a pretty good time. And uh, I actually also play Gears of War One and Two. Not multiplayer only the the co-op uh, campaign with a buddy so um that could probably be something i would like to do again it's uh it's definitely definitely interesting it, uh, it looks better than the, the the older ones in my opinion but uh, that's not something i should make myself too clever on since i have not been a big gears player in the past so um w we'll see about that we'll see and um of course there is um FIFA 12. I know I'm just rambling through these games, but I'm just mentioning the games which I'm looking forward to and uh, This fall is gonna be fucking expensive because there's so many games coming out and so many games I would like to Get and I would probably get all of them, which is a uh, which is a pain in the ass, but um yeah, FIFA 12, of course, I will get that um, It's a game I have got for a very very long time every year. It's more like it's a backup backup game for me um, as you know most of you I played play it a lot uh, these days and um, that's simply because there is no other newer game which I which I like or like which I want to play at the moment and therefore I always go to FIFA and it's always a nice game to have if you have some buddies over you can drink some uh, drink some beers and uh, and play some play some football on the telly and uh, be happy with that and um, that's a must buy for me every year and um, let me just quickly move over to big ones of course Modern Warfare 3 um, I think it's gonna be a good game um, in my opinion still Modern Warfare 2 is probably the best COD there was ever made um, I know some of you would say it was COD 4 that's fine but uh, my reason for it uh, being uh, Modern Warfare 2 is it was just the game I had most fun in I know the the noob tubes watch a bit a bit, uh, bit annoying, but um, you can't always be happy, and um, that's why I will I will pick that and uh, say that if they would just have done something about the noob tubes, uh, they will still be my my favorite card, and it is still my favorite card because it's the one I put most hours into, and uh, yeah, moving away from that, Battlefield Three, I have actually never really played a Battlefield game, but I have heard good things about it, and the new one looks pretty good. The one thing I'm a bit worried about is that it's 30 frames per second on uh, 
on the consoles, which might might be a bit clunky, but hopefully it uh, it will be okay. And uh, I won't give hate to to Battlefield. I don't think you should compare Battlefield and COD because it's two very different games, in my opinion. And uh, you can have fun fun with both. Why not play both? I will definitely get both and play both. But yeah, then for for the PlayStation exclusive, also we have. Um, Uncharted 3, that's also a must buy for me, I really enjoyed the stories in, uh, in Uncharted 1 and 2, I will probably not be playing it uh, online since um, it's it's not really my my biggest, uh, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't really enjoy uh, playing on the, the, the PlayStation online anymore since, since it, uh, the Black Ops thing just totally fucked up, but yeah, in, enough about that. I know this might be a bit boring, and I'm I'm sorry about that. But um, yeah, please, uh, guys, let me know which games uh, you are you are looking forward to. Um, some of you would probably also say Skyrim, but um, I, I it has never been my kind of game. This thing with slaying dragons, whatever you're doing in those stuff. Um, I get uh, why people will find it funny. I've heard that it should be similar to the Fallout series, uh, at least Oblivion should be. And um, I tried Oblivion, but it was not really something that kept my interest, so it would not be something I will I'll be getting. So too shabby about that. But um, I don't know if I'm missing out some games. I probably are because I think there are so many games out there, uh, or so many games coming out here in the in the fall, which again yeah, will be expensive so um you guys let me know down below which games you're looking forward to and which are must buys and which uh, you definitely will uh, be thinking about getting and blah 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 all the good stuff because i'm quite interested in uh, seeing if there's something i'm missing out on because i actually didn't know that um what was that game called uh now i don't remember what did I say before? The thing by Bethesda Rage. I actually didn't know that it will come out already in September. So that was uh, that was a kind of a, a good a good little thing for me. So um, of course, also the games comes out through the summer. Let me know if there are some of them you would like uh, you would like to get and uh, someone you would recommend. I know there is the the Duke Nukem Forever. Um, I would love that game to be good, but unfortunately, I think it's going to be a bad game, but um, that's not something I can say for sure, but uh, that's just my little little idea, but um, whatever, you can only be positively surprised, but um, anyways, um, I will probably be posting some more Modern Warfare 2 gameplay here in the future, since uh, it's the, the multiplayer game which I'm enjoying most, and... Um, yeah, here in Europe, we don't really have problems with uh, with noob tubes that much anymore. I have uh, only been noob tubed uh, uh, in two games, and in one of the games, it was a guy on my friend's list who got put on the other team because he um, he joined session because he got kicked from the party, and he noob tubed me a few times, and uh, that just pissed me off. But <laughs> Anyways, this is the, the final score of this game, 32 and 6 in a TDM, which is pretty neat. But on that, guys, I will thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. And please leave a comment down below and a rating. Bye-bye.